Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Jarzinho, Biggie Boy Rosenstrike, and Andre What it is, my brothers and sisters. This your boy, Heck Dynamite, and I just gotta lay this one video on you cats, and then I'ma split. I hope all of you job turkeys had a wonderful Ready? turkey day. I hope your bellies Ready? was full. And I hope your day was full of family, friends, good time, and nothing but good vibes. And if you like Heck Dynamite, then tonight for dinner you're having some leftovers. So getting into this fight, my man's here don't want to touch love. That's fine. Half the time, Heck Dynamite don't want to touch love neither. There's too many of you sucker punches out there. It is what it is. It's his prerogative. Can you beat So making some reads here. I can tell homeboy, he just wants to do his stuff, get in, get out. He don't want me no way to using his rigid bandage there as he lands that's the most DC. likely a good idea. So I like the fact that he's not letting that he's a good idea. Cloud his mind. That's pretty much to get this fight to the ground and he was certainly able to do so there. So now, like so now massive my advantage job here is to kind of mix it up on him. And let this job take him straight up that this ain't gonna be just no boxing match just because I got Andre Bishop. Hands hit me with the mink mink. Look at the turnover in that Blasting kick. with the leg kick. I'm trying to keep him away, but he's coming in anyway. He comes through with a big Give him that knee and let him know you best back up, sucker. So the way he's giving me all this space lets me know I best faint so I can trying get close. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's and the two a miss. things he's doing here, he's trying to punish me for coming forward and also trying to confuse me with his timing nice and his football. Defense there. Huge but block. truth be told, the only thing that's confusing me is why is he wasting is all this precious far. stamina and energy sure up the defense nonsensical here, movement. The most fitting thing I can do here now is switch up my timing, slow down my output, and see what he's really all about. Because the reality here is, oh, there's, there's the not that much pressure on me. He's the Division 20. He can't afford to lose to me. Just over I can afford to lose one. to this guy all day. I'm just going to lose a couple of Division 20. That's it. But Heck Dynamite don't like to lose, so that's why I'm still trying to play as smart as I can. I want them to be the two minutes so to get go. me wrong. But let's be honest, watching this fight, who do you think is letting their tonight, division huh? impair their skills point. and their thought process in this fight? It ain't head dynamite, that's for sure. I'm not second guessing myself. Because I can guarantee pretty much right now this man is thinking, oh his back is against the cage. I got him right where I want. Well you wrong. Heck Dynamite is a fight night play and I've been comfortable with my back against the rope cage. Almost the same thing. Innocent. Not in real life, of course. My man's over here is throwing too many straight. Straight. Put him on his ass. Put a little pressure on him, but you don't get too crazy in these situations like this. It don't matter what division they are. Composure and timing is always key. You always gotta try to keep your cool. That's one of the biggest things I need to work on myself. Not the only thing, but one of the biggest. So I'm gonna sit back in my comfort zone. I know that this would be a bad idea against some high level top oh, player. A stiff punch there. Nice I don't really feel the threat from oh, this man, so I feel like I could sit with my back against the cage right now. Oh, and I actually feel there. like I could do anything I want in this match. But going into round two, I just gotta keep in mind that this is a five round fight. And I also gotta keep up with some mixed attacks and also try to stay at a safe manageable distance. I'm also gonna try to interrupt when I can because he keeps throwing these same combos over and over. So it's around that time that I made that realization that a voice said to me, Heck, Dynamite, he, he don't have a game plan. He's just throwing the muscle memory combination there. Yeah, Andre Bishop, use your punches, please, and light his ass up. So I get him close, and I hit him with the bum boom bing. Rock him a little bit. Still maintaining my composure, not going crazy, just mixing up my assaults and my movements. Not underestimating the man, but I'm starting to feel like I can end this fight almost any way I want. But it most likely has to be a straight right. So I'm going to draw him out a little bit, try to bait him to throw some wild stuff. I mean, don't really need to do much to get him to do that. He's been doing it all on his own. You can see him getting a little desperate here. The game plan, if he had one, is out the window. But nonetheless, he feels the match slipping from his hands. So he's just going to start throwing some stuff. Now he gets the rock thanks to that lag. Now I want to make excuses, but y'all saw that. Come on now. <laughs> he's amping himself up, going for that final rally. Unfortunately for my man's here, it's the end of the road. And it was a good fight. 
thank you guys so much for watching i've been having tons of fun lately making these videos for you guys let me know if you want some longer videos shorter videos whatever kind of videos just let me know in the comments below big thank you to la monica garrett who plays andre bishop thank you so much brother for giving us a iconic fictional athlete that has meant so much to all of us in the combat sports gaming community so go ahead and give that man a follow on his instagram and as for me, it's time for me to split. It's time for me to shake the scene, you turkeys. So that's what it is here. That's what it is, what it was, and what it's going to be. And as always, remain solid.